And there's a question here in the chat that I want to that I want to look at because it connects to some of what we've talked about before. One of those theories, a, a prominent theory, the Qumran Essien. Mm -hmm. This question in from James: Do you think John the Baptist might have been an Essien, or at least raised by them? And we have some here of the Essien idea, but also I want to point out this one because there are some that look at material in the scrolls and say maybe they weren't Essenes. But Bob, what about that Christian theory that some people put forward, that Qumran was a Christian sect? So first, John the Baptist, second, alternate theory. Yeah. With with respect to those very few scholars that think that the Qumran and the scrolls had anything whatsoever to do with Christianity, uh, no. And by that I mean this. There is nothing whatsoever at Qumran from the evidence that we have that suggests that they had anything to do with Christianity. Um, um, we, we just don't have the evidence. We have every book represented um, except for Esther except at Esther. Qumran. Esther, and then we get to ask the question, well, did we just not find it? Or did they deliberately leave out Esther because it's the only book that doesn't mention God? Mm -hmm. um, Ezra and Nehemiah were, were one book, and so you just need one of them to count that. But um, is we have all of those books, and we have not one fragment of anything from the New Testament. Well, it wasn't written yet, but John the Baptist, John the Baptist wandered around in the desert. So could he possibly have known about them? Could he possibly have bumped into them? Sure, why not? But um did he join them? Um, this there there would have had to have been an initiation. If you read the um, the the various documents that talk about uh, the initiation into Qumran, it doesn't seem like something where you'd get in and get out. Mm -hmm. It is possible to share similarities between different groups, to share parables, to share you know anecdotes, to to share things without one getting it from the other or for them to, you know, to be the same group, right? It's possible for, for these ideas, these traditions to be branched out from, a, from a, a source above them. And so we have no evidence that whatsoever, that, that the Dead Sea Scrolls, that Qumran has anything whatsoever to do with Christianity. You've got a guy running around in the desert, John the Baptist, uh, who knows? Maybe he maybe he knew about them. Maybe he bumped about them. Uh, maybe he bumped into them. But his teachings don't seem to reflect the sectarian teachings of Qumran. Um, I, I, you know, we can we can go into more of that. It's, you know, John's movement was different than Jesus's mm -hmm. movement. Yeah. Uh, at you know, at the beginning, he had at his own beginning. disciples, and then his disciples joined Jesus, and we can have a separate thing on that. Um, but no, I would say it's possible. I mean, it's possible that they that he knew about them, but I, I don't think that any of his teachings or that he was ever a part of them. We just don't have any evidence for that.